So you've just been introduced to something called the rational numbers. And those are basically any number that can be written as a fraction. Now, a couple of things um, just to make a note of where you see A over B there, A and B have to be natural numbers. So you have to be really careful there. You can't just say, oh, I could take 0.32 and write 0.32 over one, right? So remember a fraction is made up of natural numbers. Um, and remember, you have learned now that the symbol for rational numbers is the letter Q. So I want to just look a little bit in a bit more detail about what a rational number is and how we deal with decimals. So obviously here, 2 over 3, that is already a fraction. So yep, we say, yep, that one is rational. 2, 2 is 2 over 1. So that one is rational. Now negative four, you can have negative fractions. So that one, yes, we can write it as a fraction. 0.25. So if you're if you're somewhat good at mental math, you might realize 0.25 is the same as one quarter. So yes, that can be a fraction. Now the next one is a little bit trickier. 0.33333 going on forever. That is actually one third and that can be written as a fraction. But what about this last one? What do we do with the one? Okay, and again, you can't just write 0.214563 over one. So how do we look at that one? Well, let's take a closer look at some of these decimals and what they are. So 0.25, we call that one a terminating decimal because it ends. So in your head, I just want you to think for a second, what might be some other examples of terminating decimals? So maybe you came up with things like 0.4 or 1.279. Those both end. They're both terminating. Now 0.33333, we call that a repeating decimal because the same number repeats. And another example is 0.272767. And for your interest, another way of writing those is 0.3 with a bar above the 3 or 0.27 with a bar above the 2 and the 7. So again, take a second, think about maybe what some other examples of repeating decimals are. So maybe you thought about something like 0.55555. It goes on and on forever, or 0.5 with a bar above it. Um, now, what about this one that we had on the last slide, 0.214563? Does it terminate? No. Does it repeat? No. So what do we do with it? And that's called an irrational number. So irrational numbers don't repeat and don't end. So some examples of those that you maybe have seen, things like pi. A lot of square roots are irrational, like the root of two or the root of three. If you punch those into your calculator, they will be decimals that go on and on forever. Now be careful, something like the root of four Remember, that equals two. So perfect squares are not irrational. So be careful. Another thing I just wanted to point out, something like um, 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, dot, dot, dot. That is a really cool pattern, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You might think, ooh, what about that number? Well, it doesn't end and it doesn't repeat. It doesn't have the same number repeating. Therefore, it is irrational.